Hello and welcome everyone to today's tutorial. We're here in the Punch Technology Workshop and we're going to show you how to configure your boot devices on a Gigabyte motherboard. Instances where you might want to do this is if your machine is taking too long to boot because uh, you might be trying three different drives before it gets to the Windows boot manager and boots you into Windows which can cause a delay you want the Windows boot device to be the primary drive. This also helps get rid of any problems. Some, sometimes you get boot failures when um, the Windows boot drive isn't set to the primary drive. Another reason you might need to do this is if you've just installed Windows, the drive that, is, that now has Windows on it is not set to be the primary drive and it might not be booting. Sometimes it needs to boot off the drive once um, before it can remember what, what drive it needs to use um, every time the system boots up. What we're actually going to do is, I'm in Windows right now, but we're going to start from a complete shutdown. That way um, everyone is familiar with where we're going from here. When I turn the machine back on, um, I'll just bring the keyboard up here in front of the camera. Um, we're pressing the delete key on the keyboard just there. Um, so as soon as we push the power button now to turn the machine back on, um, I'm going to start pressing the delete key and you can hear me tapping it and this will boot us into the BIOS. Okay, so we're in the BIOS here. So what you might find on the, on the Gigabyte um, BIOS screens is that uh, sometimes you actually end up on, on this page here. Now this is advanced mode. Um, some older um, gigabyte biases only have this mode, uh, but most of them nowadays have this easy mode here, which is what we're going to use today to to configure the boot sequence. Um, if you don't have easy mode, make sure to leave leave a quick message in the comments, um, and I'll get back to you on how to configure the boot sequence in uh, the advanced mode, or if you have an older motherboard. Uh, but like I said, most motherboards will, will all have easy mode uh, nowadays, so we'll keep it simple and we'll We'll do it this way. So to get into easy mode, in case you do boot into this screen here, it is just F2 on the keyboard. You can see I'm pushing it right there. So F2 brings us to easy mode. Uh, so down here, you've got your boot sequence. Now, one thing to check first is what drives do we actually have connected to the machine? So right here in the middle, you should have the option to look at the SATA drives, PCIe drives, and M.2 drives. Um, so in the SATA drive, we have a 500 gig SSD by the looks of things. In the PCIe drive, um, one, of, one of the slots is being taken up, uh, and that's the graphics card just here. So that's not actually a storage drive, but we can still see what's there. And in M.2, we have nothing at the moment. So we are just using um, a 500 gig SSD in this machine. So we know there's one 500 gig SSD in there. Uh, we're gonna go over to the boot sequence section down here in the bottom left, and then we will get a list of the drives. Um, so these UEFI drives, anything UEFI, UEFI um, you can pretty much ignore at this stage. Um, this is assuming you've already installed Windows on the machine, we've removed the USB stick from the machine. Um, if you're trying to install Windows, and that's why you've uh, you're trying to configure this boot order, then you you may see the U USB stick under UEFI, but it will say UEFI USB um, and a uh, some information about the fact that it's a, a partition drive. It'll tell you it's a partition drive, and that's how you select the USB drive. Now, if you do put one of these drives at the top, it's not going to cause any problems. Um, it should just skip over these and eventually when it finds the correct drive, it will just boot off of that. Um, in this case, we already have it on, on number one, the Windows Boot Manager, and we can see that is the, the 500 gigabyte SSD that Windows Boot Manager is installed on, uh, which is the one drive we had earlier. Now, simply if this is in the wrong spot, all you have to do is click and drag and, and you can move it to the correct spot. So obviously I want it up in the top here. All I need to do to save this once you've found the drive that's got Windows Boot Manager on is click Escape down here. So you can click it with the mouse or you can press Escape on the keyboard. Uh, and we're going to press F10. Um, you can see we can either click it again here, it says F10. Uh, click on that and click Yes to save and exit. 
Um, so like I said, the other, the other way to do that on the keyboard is just pressing F10 right there, and that will allow you to reboot the machine. And everything should be now set up to boot straight into Windows as you set it as your primary drive. So that's it. That's everything. Um, if you've got any more questions about this setup, if you have any older motherboards, make sure to leave a comment in the description below and, and make sure to leave a like on the video if this helped you today. Uh, subscribe as well, that would be very helpful. Um, we're going to try and release more uh, useful tips and tricks for you in the future and we'll see you next time.